Hello, my name is Sam Orlich. I'm a product specialist here in Madrid, Spain for Heritage Audio. Today I'd like to introduce to you the Synth EQ. Okay, now I'd like to go over the connections on the back panel for our Synth EQ. First thing you're going to want to do is slip in this power supplies right in there. It's a five pin included cable. Now, in terms of the inputs, you take an XLR cable, take the male end, slip that right in the back there, grab another XLR cable, take the female end, slip that into the output of the unit. The other opposite side of that cable is the male end. We're going to put that into our DAW. And you're ready. Okay, I'd like to go over the different features for our SIMP EQ. First thing you're going to want to do is start her up, simply achieve by hitting the on button. Now, in the signal path, the first thing you're going to hit are the filters for the low pass and the high pass. The high pass being adjustable on the outer ring and the low pass on the inner pot. Something to mention here is both of these filters also offer the option to leave them in off, completely eliminating the filters from the signal path in the case that you don't need them. All right, now on to the exciting stuff here. First one, we have a selection of frequencies from 8 all the way to 24 kilohertz for the high band. Soft step. Now on to the dBs in 1 dB steps, hard step. Great response here, once again. And this button here that says plus half a dB, actually adds an extra half a dB to whatever your setting is. So if you have it on 1 dB, plus 1, it would be plus 1.5. Even the setting at 0, if you hit this button, it'll actually increase a half a dB. So it really helps for doing some very fine tuning of how much extra gain you want to add or subtract. Then, one button directly below it says cut. And if we hit that, instead of increasing a dB or half a dB, will be decreasing a dB or half a dB. This is pretty convenient, because a lot of times you might be trying to hone in on a certain frequency that's maybe a little bothersome. Once you find it, you can just hit the cut. Remove it on out of there. Alrighty. Next control we have is for the low frequency selection, adjustable from 20 hertz all the way up to 470. Okay, once again, we have the same option of choosing between 1 dB or half a dB for the gain selection. And once again, we also have the option of choosing either a cut or a boost. In normal operation, it would be a boost. Applying this button, the cut button, you're cutting. Okay. Now here we have a few buttons in the middle. We have a bypass for the left side bypass for the right side and something very exciting is this button right here that says ms and that's for mid side operation in this case the left hand channel would op would represent the mid and the right would be representing the side alrighty following on we've got the exact same controls for the next channel the le the right hand side and once again the, the filters for the low cut or the high cut Okay, thanks for spending this time with us. I uh, hope we've been able to clear up any doubts you may have had about the unit. Nonetheless, if you still have any questions, feel free to get in contact with us through our webpage at Heritage Audio. Thank you, until next time.